My name is Ocheng Emmanuel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you from here, from Kampala? Yes. I'm basically born in northern Uganda. Yeah, that is Gulu. So I am actually by tribe. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was born. So in you, you, but you live here now. Too. Yeah. Currently, I base here in in Kampala in Machinde Division. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's about five kilometers from here. So, and uh, you come here. Uh, is 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 it your own uh, only job? Yeah, here to work here. Yeah, yeah, it's the only job I, I have right now because Uganda there's no job. Uh -huh, so, okay. So yeah, and it's um, the only job I have. How is the setup? It's like um, how many time do you spend here in this place? I normally come by six thirty in the morning. Uh huh. I begin prepare myself by by four. By four. Yes, four. I wake up. I bathe. I also help my children to get up so that they are ready to go to school. At the same time, I also organize myself to come for work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So by seven exactly, I should be here. Okay. Yes. And then it, until? Until 7.30. 7.30. Yes. Because I have to wait for my, my friend to come and relieve me. So okay. I can't leave the place before. Yeah. So this is the setup. You have to yes, change. Yes, and then yes. You know, things co concerning security, it is okay. very, very crucial. Yeah. And it takes a very keen responsibility. Okay. So because if, if anything gets lost, I'll be responsible. That's why we always have to follow time. Time. It's, it's very crucial. But it's a safe job. Yeah, it's, it's quite safe, but not very safe. It is, it is risky. We also sacrifice because at times we get accident outside the gate there. Some drunkard you know, people come driving recklessly. Some maybe talking on the phone, and the drive can crush you here. And sometimes the thieves, they they come with intention of booking a room, but instead they have their own agenda. So I have to be very keen. But I was trained. I was trained. Yeah. I use my eyes. I use my ear. Then psychological, I can see that this person may be a wrong person. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but it's enough for you to, to get around with this money? And, uh, and is it enough for your family? It is not enough. It's not enough. It is not enough. Because if I'm to compare, if I'm to compare in terms of dollar, yeah. it may be like $80. A month? Yes, a whole month. It is very little. Yeah. So we just sacrifice. We just sacrifice. It is very little, but nothing to do. It's better than going home and sit up. I have enough land that could have, if I have resources, I would invest a lot in my land so that I could get some good money. But all I have to save little, little by little. Okay. I pay the rent, I pay the school fees, and others I save because I'm planning in two years' time to leave this job. And then you go by your own? I go and, I go and start cultivating my garden. Okay, okay. Maybe. It's better. So right now, you're married? Of course, I'm married. And, yes. and you have children? Of course, I do. How many? I have two children. Two children? I have two children. One is called Jonah, mm -hmm. and one is called Steve. Yes. And the, the shoe? One is in kindergarten. And kindergarten? Yes. Okay, one, is in, one is in... Mm -hmm. yeah. And the, the school fee, how much is it? In also maybe in, in, it's, in dollar? It's around fifty dollars. Huh? Huh? I don't know if it's in the heavens. But they cost here. I still use. No, 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 no. It's So we have to stop? No, no. no. <laughs> she was telling me about something. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're, we're all with the children. How many? How much do you pay for the school or the kindergarten? The kindergarten, I pay a hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. Hundred fifty thousand. That's about about thirty 
About forty dollars. Well, it's half yes. of the yeah. income. Sorry? It's half of the income. Yes, half, but as I told you, it's a sacrifice. Sometimes I get I mean friends who are who are kind. Yeah. They help me. They give me like twenty thousand, thirty thousand. I I collect a bit by bit then I pay it's Oh, that's a pity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So And, and, um, and how is this? You have spare time, or you come here and work, and then you're back home with your yeah. wife and your children. Or do, do you have friends going out and doing mm. something in town? Or I normally go out in weekends, maybe like Sundays. I go out, I take them to the beach and relax, feel the cool atmosphere, you know. Sometimes I get stressed here, you know, mm. stress, noise. I mean, a lot of shit. So if I go out in the beach, maybe I feel the real nature, you know? Mm. I relax. I feel a little bit calm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, and we had, uh, but in the evening you do, you just done and then you, you don't like to do other things. In the evening? Yeah. Evening maybe I be with my children. I tell them about my my life, how yeah. I grew up. I tell them some stories. I mean, our group, I mean, our ancestor stories, maybe some stuff like that. Okay. So they keep on to follow up. And it, and then you come home and it's cooked, or do you cook, or it's yeah. is it uh, for? Um, Like uh, if you go home, uh, is you cook or how is it working? Yeah, you eat on the on the way or no. on the street or you know I normally like eating our traditional food. I order them from the village. They send, they pack for them in the bus. I call them, then they pack in the bus. I come and collect them from from Kampala city. Here. Really? Yes. They send that. Uh, yes, they yes. send from the village. Right. It's a, it's about two hundred eighty kilometers. Two hundred eighty kilometers. Yes, that is from Gurun. Yeah. Yeah. So and then you, you I, I prepare the traditional food by myself because I like it. Ah, okay. But my wife does not like traditional food. He oh. likes eating, you know, this nice food, and chicken and maybe beef. Mm. But I like greens, pasted greens. It has a lot of proteins and vitamins. Okay. So it's okay. very good. Yeah. yeah. So, and then, then you cook it, uh, you, you make it warm again, or, or eat it cold, or... Oh, uh, no, we, we cook it, we, we cook it, we just cook it. Huh? We, you don't eat cold food. Yes. No, no, it's, I cook it thoroughly. It takes like two hours. Boiled it without any cooking oil. Okay. Just the paste and the greens and other complements. Other and ingredients. we could buy it here on the street or is it only in the north? Sometimes when the food is get, it's, it's scarce in the north, uh, maybe like a dry season, I buy from here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. okay, thanks a lot. So we, we go, uh, this is our last day and then uh, do we have any tip what we should do here sure. Sorry? In, in Kampala? What, what shall we do on our last day? Uh, you have on a your tip or a I hint? think on your last day you should go around the culture place like uh, Bulangi Mango. Mango. Have you been to Mango? We have the old town. Mango. Mango. Yeah, yeah, we have been. Okay. We, we have yeah. been there, yeah. No. So, but it was closed at the time. Mm. Then maybe what I can suggest you maybe you go and I mean, do you. You look for African products around, up there. Yeah? Yes. Along that road, they sell a lot of African products. Maybe you can, okay. you can see some, you buy some, you know, it's interesting. You know, from Africa, you have to put on something Africa. Yeah. Okay. Africa is good. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So.